Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing your weekly Zodiac reading. Cross watchers are welcome. Anybody is welcome who feels drawn to this reading. So, I'm going to start with the Oracle card for you, Leo. We've got Storm Fields 9 in reverse. All right. This too shall pass. All right. Now is not the time to engage in any activity that brings unwanted chaos or drama into your life. This kind of storm can be destructive and you'll regret your actions later. Hurtful words will be carried on the wind and bring a tornado of betrayal, anger, and unnecessary angst. Find shelter. This turbulent weather will pass and your house will be untouched. So say no to drama. Wait till the storm blows over. Only then will you be heard. Interesting. So I'm getting um, a lot of emotions coming up. Um reactivity being very triggered being very um like a trigger finger on your emotions right now feels like feels like someone or something happens and it it pulls this um anger frustration uh, it's tension it's it's wanting to match it feels like you're wanting to match someone's coming towards you and it either triggers you <clears throat> or something happens it triggers you it feels like you want to retaliate you want to create pain because this is painful and so you're wanting to lash out, demolish. And I'm getting that that is not what you would prefer to do had you been neutral. There's something about, <clears throat> excuse me, not allowing your emotions to dictate your actions yeah I'm seeing that already in your next steps that it takes courage and inner strength to not react something comes in and uh, not even thinking not considering and I know that's tough because I mean I I can feel the frustration I can feel the anger the vitriol feels like someone uh, is coming through to whatever is happening it feels like you are perceiving it like someone's trying to take your power away <clears throat> all right wow all right Leo in your past you have seven of pentacles looks like you're focusing on what you want to create in this world dedicated focus realization this is where i'm going to focus my time and attention could be very well be around work beautiful looks like looks like you're working with someone and building something one of you might be more of a leader um, has had a lot of experience in a lot of different areas and someone who's very knowledgeable about this whatever this is that you're focusing on and then it feels like someone is more loving and caring playful they bring um a lot of heart into whatever this is all 
it looks like what you're working on is very healing. It ha has a opportunity, a way of healing. Maybe healing um, the unconscious, healing emotions, healing what's hidden. Some of you, it feels kind of like counseling, helping heal people's thoughts and emotions, maybe even your own. It's very, it's wonderful. It's like you're learning new things and you're, you're teaching others to see the truth, to learn a new way of being. Wow. All right, Leo, um, what's in the subconscious that's driving what consciously was happening was a desire to work with others, desire to build something, come together. Um, oh, interesting. This card fell on the ground. So... It looks like there were two energies driving from your subconscious, driving your past energy, a desire to work together. And also you had beliefs that you can't work well with others, that you don't trust others. Maybe there's a lot of betrayal. So that's so interesting. There's this desire to really collaborate and come together, build something. It does feel around work, but there's also this heart space energy, this and, and betrayal and hurt and wow. Okay. So that's in your past, Leo. In your current energy, we have the Knight of Swords. Fast action. Now, this is what I'm getting. Some Someone comes in. The Knight of Swords, as I'm perceiving it right now, is someone who's acting. I'm, I'm communicating this. Act, I'm not really thinking this through i'm taking action i'm communicating something looks like someone is communicating something to end a cycle feels like that's their intentions i'm wanting to end this but they haven't they haven't gone within to find their answers or when someone comes through with this again you don't you don't take some time to go within and find how you feel about it you don't take some time it's probably a little bit of both you're wanting to move forward with something with joy and peace and ease you're wanting to create um an easy going this feels around the connection. It feels about around a connection, maybe the connection in the past, someone you were working with. There might have been more than just work. It, it, there is this heart connection. And there's this real desire to make something work. And, but someone's trying to come out of grieving. Someone, there's been a lot of grieving, a lot of sadness. Trying to end that. There's also been a lot of hopelessness and despair. It feels like these messages, the, the messages coming in aren't really thought out. They're like, let's... I want this joyful, happy, I want happiness. I want this fantastic thing. I don't want to grieve anymore. It feels like somehow the, the way this person is communicating, they're trying to end a cycle. They're trying to end something, but they're not, 
it's not coming from an enlightened place. It's coming from, I don't like uncertainty. I don't like instability. I just want to, I just want to move something forward. I want to stop feeling this way. And it feels like if I can just be in connection, then I'll feel better and I won't be grieving and I won't be hopeless. So it feels like this person wants to not really heal. They're, they just want to jump to let's have fun. Let's move forward. What's driving this is the two of pentacles in reverse in the subconscious. I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to play around. I don't want to juggle. I want to make a decision. I want, this feels like I want someone else to not juggle. I don't want to be juggled. I don't want to be played with. I don't want to be an option. I want to have a new beginning. But it feels like they're, whoever this is, they're trying to control their environment instead of shifting whatever beliefs are within them that's, that allow them or they're attracted to those who juggle and play. Very interesting. Yeah, wondering if that resonates with anybody out there, Leo, and what the story is, if you want to share. I love reading comments. Seeing how how this personally is, is hitting you, uh, if you want to share. All right, Leo, in your next steps, you're showing up, but not quite the way you'd like to. Uh, strength in reverse feeling insecure your next steps feel very insecure a lack of confidence a lack of it feels confusing worry I, I'm, I'm taking my next steps feels like around business again around finances or stability you're you're taking next steps. They feel very slow. It feels like things aren't moving at the pace that you would prefer them to. It feels like your finances and your business have a, a nice beginning, some stability, but it does not appear it appears like um, communications of love are it feels like someone else's it, that someone who you care about whoever we're talking about here that they're moving away that they're giving their love to someone else they're focusing on something else they, nobody really got what they wanted out of this connection. And so it feels like st staying in a connection past its expiration date, unable to move forward, even though it is emotionally unsatisfying, feels very stuck. Like I'm uh, maybe trauma bonds here. Because there's an unwillingness and inability to move to soul fulfillment. And what's driving this is in your subconscious, you're wanting the truth. You're wanting clarity, ace of swords, a new way of seeing things. A new perspective is coming in. 
And what's blocking it is a, a need to control your environment, control someone else. Feeling insecure and unstable. Anything else? What's the possible outcome for Leo? What does Leo need to know about the possible outcome? Yeah, it looks like um, there's some lessons about manifesting others, interfering with the free will of others, trying to control others in your environment. It looks like you're learning some clarity around where the real control is, is within. That's the real work. That's where the power comes from. That's where that strength within if you are strong within and confident and you carry that despite what's happening outside of you then you can go anywhere feels like uh the reactivity that the oracle card was speaking on was It feels a little desperate hearing something that you don't want to hear, trying to control how others are thinking, how they're talking, how they're, it's projecting, it's needing someone outside of you and it feels very frustrating that you're not getting your way. And there's a need like the storm fields in reverse oracle card to go within to not be reactive all right wow that's your reading leo if that um if this reading resonates uh i would love to know what the story is anything you want to share with me you can hit that like button uh to let me know that this resonated. I'm also going to be doing a bonus reading for whatever zodiac sign I get the most likes. So, all right. Take care. Bye.